Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel, Lovely My Story Time. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Mai, and I made my channel a while ago. And I did some videos just ranting and raving or whatever. So I decided to come back and try again. Um, I love watching YouTube, so I... I just love watching YouTube. I have a bunch of YouTubers that I love watching. And, you know, they inspired me to create my own channel. That's why I started probably like two, three years ago. I started, but then I gave up. But now I'm serious because I see a lot of people doing it. A lot of people out here getting them coins, trying to do it. But not only for the money. You know, a lot of people do it, like, to help other people and, um, just inspire other people and motivate other people and stuff like that. So I like to talk. I like to watch YouTube videos and give my opinions and vlog and all that. So on my channel, you'll be getting some of everything. I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing, like if I'll be sticking to one thing or whatever, but um, I'm going to pretty much start off doing everything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment, all that. And um, let's get started. So the first thing um, I want to talk about today is, or the first person I want to talk about today is um, my husband, or I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm forgive me, my husband, Pretty Pete, the real boss. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Pretty P, she is um, Instagram famous. She is a stripper in the LGBT community. And I fucking love her. Let me tell you. Not only is she sexy as hell, beautiful as hell, handsome as hell, fly as hell. Ugh, she just has the heart of gold. Like... When I tell you, first of all, I've seen a lot of strippers. I've gone to see a lot of male strippers. I haven't never seen any female strippers. But this woman, like, literally gives back. Like, she tries to help. I've never seen, I don't know, it's just something about Pretty P. Like, she's just amazing. Just simply amazing. If you guys don't know who she is... Go follow her on Instagram, Pretty P, the real boss. And oh my God, y'all will see what the fuck I'm talking about. But anyway, I came across her Instagram years ago. And I don't even know how I came across her because she's famous on Instagram and all that. But I don't know. But I came across her and I literally fucking fell in love. And at the time, she was married. With her ex-wife, I don't know what they're going through right now, but she was married, and now I guess they're separated. But those two together, oh my God, they, like, literally, they're the reason I decided to come out late in life. I've always felt like I like girls. Um, I just didn't come out when I was younger. Some of you guys might not understand this, but I come from a religious background, and... I don't know. I was an 80s baby, so it was just hard for me to even tell people, hey, I like girls, but I always felt it since I was younger, but I also liked boys, so, you know, but anyway, their love for one another just made me feel like, damn, I want that one day, like, what if I'm missing out on love because I'm just sticking to guys, or, you know, I'm, I'm not being who I want to be. So I decided to come out at a late age in life. I already had three kids when I came out, but guess what? I didn't care because, I mean, I cared, but once my kids accepted me, it was a wrap. I knew, like, I knew it was over. I knew I was going to be happy because I came out. And come to find out, Everybody who loved me, everybody who's close to me, supported me, and it just made me regret not coming out sooner. But back to Pretty P. Back to Pretty P. So, Pretty P the real boss. Oh, my God. She calls herself Pretty P. 
check her out please oh my goodness i want to catch one of her shows hopefully she comes to connecticut soon because i will be there front row and but she's just amazing and i just i love this woman like i love her she's a stripper she's a mom but she does everything she she gives back to her community. She helps people out. She not just, I mean, we all help people out, but she literally like new and upcoming artists or new, if, if there's like a poetry, any event that's going on in her area or it, it don't even got to be in her area. I noticed she literally supports people who she likes and I just love this. I just love everything about her. She's simply amazing. But um, her and her ex, I guess they're exes. I don't know that story. I'm not saying I don't care because I care about her happiness. That's how much I love her. I never, <laughs> I've never been so infatuated with somebody. I'm being honest. I'm keeping it real. But I love Pretty P. She's just amazing. Sexy as hell. Oh. All these tattoos all over her, piercing. She just a fucking amazing. Check her out, Pretty Peter Real Boss on Instagram, on Facebook, and she's on Twitter. It's Pretty P underscore TPP. I'm pretty sure that's her Twitter. But I love her so fucking much, and I know there's gonna be people out there watching this video who knows what the fuck I'm talking about. And if you know who Pretty P is, comment down below because I love her. Let me know how y'all feel about her. Let me know how y'all think she's sexy and you think she's sexy and beautiful and handsome and all that. But oh my god, if I can meet Pretty P. Mm. That would be the best birthday wish ever. Like, best birthday gift if I could meet Pretty P in real life, in person, not on live, in the flesh. Oh my God. And she sounds like she's very personable and she's always like telling people to come party with her and shit like that. But I love her, not just because she's a stripper neither. Like, I'm not really into the whole stripper scene and shit. I mean, I like to go to shows and stuff, but I'm not into, you know, I'm not infatuated with strippers, but her, she could get all my dollars. She could get all my dollars. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm just ranting, guys. This is my first video, so I'm just, you know, talking about stuff. But anyway, like I said, I've been watching YouTube for a long time, and I have a lot of faves. I have a lot of people I like. I have a few that I, I can't really say I don't like, but I don't agree with sometimes how they talk about people or deal with people, not even talk about people, because obviously I'm going to talk about people, but it's your opinion, you know what I'm saying, but some people I notice they have channels like drama and tea channels, and they don't just talk about the drama and the tea, they try to go in on people and I just I don't know like I feel like how are you talk I don't know I just think certain things are messed up the way not giving your opinion about stuff but the way you're like coming for like their skin color or you know their size or you know what I'm saying certain things especially if you're the same size or in that bracket you have no business talking I'm sitting here drinking my wine. You know, I got my little Arbor Mist right here. Arbor Mist. I'm not promoting this. This is just my favorite. Arbor Mist. And it is strawberry mango. And that's another thing. Um, in a lot of my videos, you might be seeing me sipping on a glass of wine or having a cocktail. Because, you know, that's my downtime. This is going to be my time. But anyway, um... So I talked about Pretty P, how much I love Pretty P, and I might talk about Pretty P again. I'm going to flash up a video of her so y'all can check her out and see what I'm talking about. But um, I also, I love watching drama channels, like drama tea channels or gossip channels. Um, I love Damo. I love Damo. Listen, hold up. I 
I feel like I was just drinking that like coffee, but it's so good. So listen, let me, my opinion on Damo. I'm happy for Damo. I'm happy Damo is doing her thing. I don't care what nobody say. I, I honestly don't. I love Damo. The fact that she went from dressing masculine and to feminine, I feel, I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. I'm glad that she found herself because it seems like she's very happy and I know how she feels. I mean, I never dressed masculine at all, but I know I came out, like I said, late in life. So I feel like once I came out, I found that part of myself. I found, you know what I mean? Like, cause I, I was more happier. I, I like, I was just me. So I feel like Damo changing from masculine to feminine, I feel like she found herself and I don't see a problem with that. She's not hurting nobody. A lot of people be trying to come for her and all that, saying they liked her when she was masculine, but I thought she was cute as hell when she was masculine, but you know, she's happy now. She has her little baby. Her son, two years old now, he just had a birthday. So, you know, I'm happy for her. And I feel like, I liked Chrissy too, but I feel like, Chrissy, if you, if they wasn't happy, I don't understand why they stayed together for, I mean, I get YouTubers, like, couples, they stay together for the views and stuff, but bump that. Ain't nobody taking my, no, taking up my time when I could be out there you know, meeting other people or whatever for the views. They ended up going their separate ways anyway and making separate channel. Well, Chrissy made a separate channel anyway, so I don't understand why, you know, I don't, I don't know why they stayed together. But, um, I like, I did like their, um, channel as a couple. I did start to notice how, you know, Chrissy seemed, and I kept saying it too, every time I watched videos with them as a couple when baby Dama was born. It Chrissy didn't seem connected. She didn't seem connected at first. It seemed like Damo definitely was like the main caregiver. Even though Chrissy was there, she just didn't seem into it. And even when Damo was pregnant, it didn't seem like Chrissy even liked the fact because Damo was still masculine when she was pregnant. The only thing feminine about her was her stomach and her boobs. You know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, I just think, you know, I'm, it's too bad that things went the way they're going now. But you know what? I'm a mom. And if Damo feels like, you know what I'm saying, Chrissy ain't being the best mom or she's doing stuff different than what she was doing before, then you know what I'm saying? You got to think about the kids at first. And I feel like on Chrissy's part, I honestly feel like, Chrissy, if you if you ever watch this video, now, you call yourself Damo, baby Damo's mom. Okay. A real mom, whether they're your biological, adopted, whatever, if you want your son, if you want to see your son that bad, then you need to go to court or you need to find out what you can do to get visitation rights. I mean, or get visitation. First of all, I don't understand why you didn't adopt him. If if he's your son, why you didn't make it official? Because had it been me, if that's my son and I wanted to make it official, I'm adopting. I don't give a fuck. I'm adopting. Fuck all that. Oh, we we wouldn't do that to the kids. And we wouldn't do that to him. We'll always be his mom. I'll always be his mom. No. You should have signed that damn birth certificate. And you should have adopted him. So, it ain't really no excuses right now, Chrissy. I don't know. I still like you. I still like watching you sometimes. But, you know what? Mm, I don't know. You should have signed them papers. Because... I mean, I, I just, I don't understand how you claim you're his mom, and but you don't seem like you're doing nothing, you know, to see him. Like, yeah, you hop on Instagram and you 
make long ass <laughs> posts and shit. And I understand you. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. But I'm just saying, like, like Damo said, he two years old, he ain't gonna read that long ass post. Maybe you got it saved for him one day, but you know what? He's not gonna read it and she ain't gonna read it for him. So, I mean, hold on, I need to get my glasses because I can't see in the camera. And if it looks like I'm looking like off to the side, it's because I'm trying to get used to the camera. I gotta look at the lens and uh, I don't know. But anyway, just bear with me. But anyway, um, yeah, so like I said, I just feel like Chrissy needs to do more. Like, don't do shit for the internet. Don't do shit to make, because it doesn't matter what the fuck we think about you. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter what the internet, it doesn't even matter what, that. well, it does matter what Damo thinks about you, but what I'm saying is, you and Damo are Baby Wick's mom, so... Don't do shit for the internet. This is your son. Y'all had a bond. If you love him and you are his mom, then you need to do everything in your power to get visitations because that's what a real motherfucking mom would do. No questions asked. No nothing. It ain't nothing. Period. That's it. That's what a real mom would do. And I just feel like... Like... I'm not taking neither side. I mean, I'm a mom, but I I just feel like if he's your baby girl, you need to go out there and you need to get him and you need to you need to find out everything you need to do to get visitations even if you don't want partial custody or you need to do what it takes and stop jumping on Instagram making long ass posts. Because that ain't going to prove shit. That ain't, you know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing, honey. Like, so, but anyway, I wish the best of luck to you. I wish the best of luck to Damo, you know what I'm saying? I just feel bad for Wick because, I mean, he's young. He's a baby. He ain't going to really remember this if he never gets to see Chrissy again. But it's just unfortunate, you know. But anyway, so, but like I was saying, I just, I like a lot of YouTubers. I watch a lot of YouTubers a lot. I love um, uh, the Prince family. That's my favorite family a lot. Shout out to Bianca. <laughs> Shout out to Damien and Bianca. And the little two boys and the little baby. I need to catch up on y'all vlogs though because I haven't been watching them in a few days. You know, I'm trying to do my own thing right now. But anyway, um, so I don't know what my channel is going to be about though. Like, I'm just going to be talking and ranting. This is my very first video in a few years. Before, if you see the other videos that I made, I made those with my phone. And I'm making these with my camera. So, you know... This is a little upgrade for right now, but there's a lot of YouTubers out there right now who's like trying to make it, just starting off. And you know what? One thing I hear a lot of big YouTubers say is you got to start from somewhere. You got to, you know, a lot of YouTubers started with their iPhones, like, and they just started making videos with their iPhones. So, you know, it's just you got to be consistent, consistent. So, I'm going to try and stay consistent. I'm not going to say right now when I'm going to be posting, but I'm just going to be making videos and making videos and, you know, just uploading. And I hope you guys enjoy my channel, you know. It ain't going to be, you know, one thing. It's just going to be a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to keep it real. It's just going to be a bunch of stuff. I want to do challenges. I want to have story time. Well, it's mainly going to be story times, but it's going to be a mix. It's not just going to be, you know, because, like, I mean, I'm a mom of three. I'm busy. I work third shift. I'm not going to have time to vlog like that on a daily basis. But when we do go out and stuff like that, I will vlog. And my kids, they, they don't want to be part of this, so <laughs> they won't be in the videos. Not as much. They'll probably be in some, but not as much. But, you know, there's a lot of 
you know, new YouTubers who are getting started and people seem to like it. And that's what YouTube is about. YouTube isn't like Hollywood. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? When you got to bust out $24 million cameras and start vlogging and shit and think, you know, you're making a movie. It's just you. It's who you are. It's called YouTube for a reason. And this is my channel, Lovely My Story Time where we will be sipping on wine and not tea. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, check me out. Hit that subscribe button. Click on that bell. Like, comment, share. Let me know what you want to see, what you think I should do, challenges, what you think I should do. My girl Marisa will be joining me in some videos because she has a little rant she wants to talk about she wants to talk about TNK squad and give her opinion on them so i don't really watch them i started watching them um a while ago but i don't watch them as much but i mean there are some things that it's not that i don't like them it's that i don't like how i don't like how they word shit about people because i feel like they're a t channel so I feel like, okay, first of all, you're a T-channel. So if you're a T-channel, you're getting basically all your info from social media. And you're getting your info from maybe other YouTubers' channels, but social media. You're getting your, your content from social media. I don't like how you guys always say, I don't like how you guys always say we're stating facts. We're stating facts. To me, you saying that you're stating facts, that means you was right there in their living room. Or you was right there. You heard it from the horse's mouth because that's facts. You can't take what you get off the internet and, and say you're stating facts unless you've seen it on a live feed and you heard it for yourself and then, but this particular video that I was watching with you guys, um, y'all were talking about Queen Nyjah and stuff going on with her mom and stuff. And I feel like you said you were stating facts. These are facts. That's what the dude said on TNK Squad. And to me, I'm like, how are you stating facts? Y'all must know them. Y'all know them? Let me know if y'all know them or something because... I don't know, but other than that, I don't have nothing, you know, negative to say um, about TNK Squad. Like, I think they're a decent T channel. I mean, they talk about, they gossip. I mean, like all the other T channels. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they doing what they came here to do and stuff. But I just, I feel like if you're going to talk about things, give your opinion. Don't make it like, you know... I mean, talk about the, the tea that you see, but don't say you stay in facts because that's, you know what I'm saying? That means you like 100% sure you know for a fact that, you know what I'm saying, this happened and this happened. And that could get people in trouble, you know what I'm saying? Because you putting stuff out there like you know and you don't even know. So, but anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm not coming for nobody. I'm just stating my opinion and, you know what I'm saying, that's what I see from your video, um, videos that I've watched. And I feel like, too, um, there was a video that I watched of TNK Squad. They were, it was how they met video. And um, they were just being a little graphic. They were like, damn, condoms popping off and shit. I'm like, shit, damn, she's sleeping and shit. That shit just sound weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> that shit sound weird as fuck. <laughs> but... <laughs> Anyway, this wine is getting to me a little bit. But anyway, so... <laughs> but other than that, I, I... You know, I like watching funny, good YouTube channels. Whether it's drama channels, t drama and tea channels. I keep calling them drama channels. I don't know why I do that. Drama channels. They're not drama channels. They're tea channels. Tea channels. But, um... 
yeah, so I I don't know. I just love watching YouTube. I watch all types of YouTubers too. I don't discriminate. I go from watching Shane and Rylan to watching fucking goddamn Zoe. He's funny as hell. Oh my god. It's Friday. I wish I could twerk like him. <laughs> but um <laughs> so oh he's funny as hell and cute as hell. But um I love watching him. I love I watched all his skits. All his skits. He's funny as fuck. He is funny as fuck. But um I watch I watch David Dobrik, fucking Jason Nash, Heath Hussar. I Heath. Just call him Heath. Zane. Oh my god. I'm gonna post oh my god. I'm gonna post some clips in this video so you could check these people out. Oh my god, they are so funny. Zane and Heath, oh my they're funny as hell. Love them. Liza Koshy. I watch family blog vlogs, the Ace family. Too bad they're not doing nothing right now. Well, I don't think they're doing nothing right now. I don't know what's going on with them. But I got to go back and look. I'm going to do a video on um, the Ace Family. Because I like them. And I used to like watching them all the time. But I don't know. Something about them that just like. They start. I don't know. I can't call it. It's like. It's like. I don't know. I can't pinpoint it. But. Uh, with Austin. Catherine's the follower. She just goes along with Austin says. That's her man. So, you know, she going to do what he say. She going to act like whatever. But Austin, I feel like he just thought he was better than everybody. And I don't know. I mean, that's just the vibe I picked up from him from his video. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But anyway, I did like watching them. Their daughters are beautiful. They're cute. I didn't appreciate, to be honest, <clears throat> the video that um, he was on a live and he was in the mall and he had the little girl. I don't know. I got to rewatch the video because I don't know. I know it wasn't his daughter, but I don't know if it was his niece or whoever's child it was, but he had the little girl in the mall and they was in a store. I want to say it was Spencer's. Now, everybody know that Spencer's is not a child it's not a store for kids you don't bring a kid in one time and i didn't even know this up until like a couple years ago one time i went to the mall and i had my daughter with me she was like maybe 11 or 12 at the time and we were just in the mall and we had seen some t-shirts hanging in the window or whatever and we liked some of the t-shirts so i was like let's go in here i didn't think nothing of it until i walked straight to the back and seen a bunch of adult like shit like toys and you know sexual things shit that my daughter shouldn't be seeing so I immediately left the store you know because I was with my daughter had I not been with my daughter I wouldn't have been in that store but he had that little girl in that store he brought that damn lollipop that looked like the shape of a penis and she was sucking on that lollipop and he was letting her like why would you first of all why the fuck would you buy her that lollipop? Like, you needed to be slapped for that. If I saw you in that store with that lollipop and buying that lollipop for that little girl, me as a mom, Austin, I would have really, I would have really came for you. I would have really gave you the business because, like, and it ain't even none of my damn business. But you know what? Fuck that. It's too many pedophilic shit going on out here with fucking people and shit and you supposed to be a public figure on social media and shit and you doing some dumb shit like that that's some dumb shit like that was dumb you deserve all the fucking bashing that everybody gives you because that was just fucking dumb and whoever that little girl mama is i blame your dumb ass too because you know what come on now that shit was not cute it wasn't nothing cute about it it will no that shit was not cute. That was a eh, no, eh, eh, no. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to introduce myself, guys. Welcome you to my channel. Of course, I was ranting and stuff.
But this is what you're going to get when you watch the lovely My Story Time. You'll be getting this, some challenges, some vlogs, some of this, some of that. I will be having my little guest appearances from my girl Marisa and others that will make y'all laugh and shit. And that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share. And I'll see you next video.